lost, completely hopelessly lost in the vast and labyrinthine recess of the Mammoth Cave. Welcome, boys and girls. Bet you thought the microphone was off, didn't you? Nope. This is a professional outfit here on BBD TV. 
on a Friday. Well, is it still a quarantine Friday for you? I don't know. Talked a lot about uh, fat asses in Georgia not being able to go out. So I wonder if uh, fat asses in Tennessee are allowed out. I don't know if they are or not, but I was out today. And damn, there was a lot of fat asses out there. I aged. I don't know if y'all can tell. Oh, but I aged a lot today. I feel like I'm 53 years old. And, uh, damn, that's old. Of course, there is a few people that come in here to my streams that are older than me. Uh, some of them that like to talk about it. Some of them that don't. Some of them that just don't give a shit. Those are the, those are the kind of people. Uh, those are the kind of people that you gotta respect. People that just don't give a shit. Of course, I respect everybody. What's up, Noel Nation? Ah, let me go back up and see who was first tonight. Goose Sports first in the hizzy tonight. And then General, and then Goose's twin, Goose Sports, was here. Uh, two gooses tonight. That would be a geese, I believe. Or a gander, hell, I don't know. <sighs> a typical gump is here, or atypical gump. Matt Dumit, Chandler Davis, Slim Mosley, Killer Mom. There's a couple of, a couple of badass fans right there. Mr. MVPs. Mr. MVPs. Does that mean he's good at peeing, or he's the most valuable peer, or, hell, I don't know. Nose Polini is here. Ala Bama Marine. <sighs> Dear God, Bama Marine. What are we going to do with you? General's here. He loves my ridiculously long intro. He don't say shit to anybody else that has a ridiculously long intro. Hey, at least I got one. You've seen them half-assed uh, streams over there on Volunteer Roadshow? You ever seen those, General? Where them two guys sit there for five minutes before they start, talking about, we got the sound on, uh, you, you get over there, mic check over here, test one, two, uh, you get over there, can you say, face, we get on Facebook, we get on Twitter, we get on YouTube, yeah, all right, well, we'll go live here in a minute, and you're already live! Get your shit together over there, Volunteer Roadshow. Y'all are a real, real professional organization. Yeah, you got sponsors and shit. I do too. Thank you, Klein Everhart at Everhart Transportation Incorporated. 1622 Industrial Road, Greenville, Tennessee. All your trucking needs taken care in one spot. If you need some stuff hauled, they can haul it. If you need your truck fixed, they can fix it. If you need her gassed up, well, you're out of luck because they don't put gas in your trucks. They put diesel in there. <sighs> what are we going to talk about tonight? <clears throat> you know, I've noticed a lot of people taking off stupid-ass masks that are hotter than hell. I've noticed a lot of people doing top fives here lately let's see what that looks like oh man hell yeah that's that's way better way better aged ah I'll plug this bitch in real quick thought about doing a, a open mic night tonight and uh, bringing some people in, but we've done the StreamYard thing the last couple of nights, and uh, StreamYard's always fun. Hell, we might, I don't know, I might switch over to StreamYard later tonight on here. We'll just see how it's going. How's it going, White Trash Chess Hall? That's the uh, twin brother of Chess Hall. What's up, Crimson Brave? How you doing? Uncle Lou in the house? Uncle Lou don't like my damn green screen. I'm hurt. <laughs> Wait till I get the big one. That's what she said. <laughs> Got a 10-footer coming. 
won't be able to handle me, Lou, when that son of a bitch gets here. You been seeing any fat asses out there, Lou? I don't know if you're just now joining us or not, but I was telling everybody earlier, I went out today to my local only place there is to go in Greenville, Walmart. A lot of fat asses out there today. Uh, yeah, so they're out there. But anyway, back to this top five thing. Top five movies, top five football players, top five... I uh, think I saw Pete do top five fast food restaurants. Um, there's been a top five of just about everything. What's up, Yankees fan? Except... A top five everything. Oh, that, that there's... There's not even a top five at that, Lou. I got that shit locked down. I don't know, though, Goose. Have you ever seen Goose's green screens? Goose may be the only person on the internet worse than me with green screen, but I think his problem is, is probably the same as mine, lighting. Um, but I don't see my boy Celine in here. I promised him a, uh, promised him a stinger tonight, and I got him. I got him covered. We'll just see what you guys think. Now, there may be only a couple of people that get this. A couple of people in the uh, comments section that were here this morning. Nardas! Nardas! <laughs> Nardas! Nardas! <laughs> That's one. Oh, you know me. I can't stop at just one. I'm like the Lay's potato chip guy when it comes to stingers. I got, I got you, I got you some more. Blowing out your ass. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. One more. Now, this one's my personal favorite. I really like this one. That's my favorite one. <laughs> oh yeah. Where are you at, Celine? Damn it. Said you'd be here tonight. Of course, they're not going anywhere. Oh, Chess, I'll have you one. Mm. I'll have everybody one eventually. Ballard, you're gonna have one too. So you like the third one the best? Uh, let's 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 run through them one more time. One more time. We'll take a vote. Here we go. Lardas, Lardas. <laughs> That's one. Blowing out your ass. That's two. I looked for two hours today to find a what's up fat boy. Couldn't find one. Thought about doing one myself, but that just wouldn't be the same. Um, that I haven't laughed that hard in a long time. I had to cut my mic off. We had a good time today. Today was a good show. Even though, you know, when we get when we get our boy Celine on there, Celine you put Celine and Lou together whether it's five minutes or five days, there's going to be some political talk. There's going to be some civics talk. There's going to be some professional dialogue going on. Looks like everybody snake likes four. Funny, funny guy. You Buckeyes, you're nuts. You, you Buckeyes, Buckeyes are a bunch of nuts. I saw somebody said favorite YouTuber. Um, you know what? I, the other night, I thought about addressing something. And I decided against it. Uh, watched a live stream today, a recorded live stream. <clears throat> Probably shouldn't even bring this shit up. Um, 
But for those of you that are in or around or near, in the vicinity of, ever have been, never will be in the trash talking circle, or those people that are left in it, it's a couple of guys, uh, eight camel toes and a bomb, who are brutally going after it. It's uh, it's come down to uh, it's gone beyond name calling and and calling the wives and the families and kids and everybody ugly. It's gone beyond that. It's gone to to screwing with each other's money now. And I've told both of these guys I am impartial. I'm not taking a side. I will never take a side in something like this. I am totally against both of what these guys are doing. And if you were in uh, Mike Mosh's stream the other night, you heard me lose it. Uh, maybe for the first time ever. I know a few of you have seen the have seen the stream, and I, I totally lost my shit for about a good 20 minutes. The, the dialogue with me and Camel Toes went on for 45 minutes and a couple other people, and I, I haven't lost my shit like that on YouTube ever outside of football. You know, all bets are off when it comes to Tennessee football. You guys know I'm going to lose my shit there. It, it's inevitable. But going off on another human like I did, that's the kind of shit I did in my 20s, not the kind of shit I do in my 50s. So I apologize. Um, not, uh, I apologize to the people that were there that night that saw that. That's not me. And uh, today, well, actually last night, but today I was watching a replay of um, A Bomb Stream, Brutal Stream, going after Eight Camel Toes' work. And uh, <clears throat> A Bomb texted me last night and asked me where Bobby worked, and I wouldn't tell him. Not going to tell him. I'm worried about those two. Seriously, I, I, if you, either you guys are watching this, or if you guys, either you guys do see this, and the other people involved, stop it! I, I'm, I implore you to stop the dumb shit. We know a bomb is not afraid to get in a damn car or a plane and go see somebody. He's already shown that. Both of them are crazy. They, they're both certifiably fucking nuts, um, and they'll both tell you that. I'm not I'm not talking shit here. I'm just telling you the facts. And so in that stream, A Bomb played the replay of the stream the other night in Mike Mosh where I went off. And you know, him and uh, Danny G and the other guys in there were um, basically celebrating me going off on that. And I, I didn't really like that. It, it, hey, it's your channel. If you're watching A-Bomb, you're free to do whatever you want to do. You know, I did it. It's out there. It's free to grab and copy and show whoever you want, wherever you want. But if you got, man, you guys, please knock it off, man. God damn it. This is the internet, you know. There, there's nothing that serious that ever happens on the internet until you get to the point where they're at right now. So that's my, that's my two or three minute uh, speech, if you will, to those guys. Uh, my apologies again for blowing up. I ain't gonna lie, it felt good uh, to blow off some steam. But anyway, that's that. Knock it off, guys. Got more important shit to be doing, like coming over here and watching this dumb shit. I think I saw a couple of super chats. Yep. Jesse Sullivan, thank you for the, U for the YouTube, for the super chat. He says top five YouTubers. Um... Okay, we'll go top five YouTubers. Um, are we talking, Jesse, are we talking top five YouTubers over 100,000 subs or just the top five that you watch? Because I know uh, a couple of people that's probably going to be in most everybody's top five in here. Thank you, Harrison Triplett, for the super chat. He's putting his five in there. Number one, D. Thomas. Number two, Tony G. Number three, Lynn. Four, Pat. Five, Lanier. The Chiefs top five. Like it. Like it. That's a good one. 
do top five, whatever we I, I'm saying top five everything, and by what I mean of top five everything tonight, this would be a tough one for a lot of us. The top five everything that you do in your life, rank it from five right down to one. The things that you do in your life that are most important to you, most fun to you, um, most critical to you, whatever. Five most important things in your life from five to one. That's a tough one for me. Um, number one for me, I'm going backwards. I'm going number one. I hear you, BW. Who the hell is that in the background? That's my neighbors in the background. Are you shitting me? Oh. Number one for me, without question, number one most important thing to me in my life is my child. Not even close. Uh, might as well not even be a four through five. But since we're doing top five, we'll go from there. It's a nice little five for, nice quick five for Ballard there. Jesus Family Sports YouTube. Wow, YouTube and exercise. Exercise. Be interesting. Who's, who's getting deleted here already? Why'd we, why'd we do that? Why'd we time that guy out? I mean, I'm sure at some point tonight, Crimson Brave is going to get timed out by me, but I mean... We untime him out. I don't think we've. I don't. Uh, we've had this discussion. I don't think we can untime somebody out. So, uh, my apologies, Crimson Brave, for me not being the first person to time you out tonight. Uh, that one you actually didn't deserve. Maybe it was an accident, Mister MBPS. He, nope. He says take a little break, sir. All right. They're mods for a reason. Yep. Whoopity do. I haven't been I haven't been explained what that one's for. Need to be I need to be understanding what that stinger's for. Celine's in here, isn't he? I think I saw him. Make yourself known, Celine Driver. Driver of the Celine. There he is. You want your present? Celine, you want your present tonight from old BVD, your buddy, your favorite Tennessee volunteer, your favorite toothless redneck inbred hillbilly. Hey, dinner, I hear you, I hear you, driver. Dinner, de hell, dinner might be in my top five of everything. It is pretty important that we eat, so I'll give you that. No, man, no humiliation here. I just think, I think you can appreciate this first one. Lardas, Lardas! <laughs> How many people know where that's from? You gotta know where that's from. You got to know where that one's from. Number two, I got you three. I got you a, a, a three pack tonight, a threesome, Celine Driver. Blowing out your ass. I didn't see it. Blowing out your ass. One more time. Blowing out your ass. Look at that. Look at that. Blowing oh, out oh, your man. ass. Here's the coup de gras, I think is the way they say it. Everyone, apparently everyone's favorite for you. Uh, pay close attention to this one. There's a lot to see in this one, Celine Driver. Pay close attention, sir. <laughs> How'd you like that? I know, you, I, look, I know you want to see that again just because of that beautiful car. <laughs> you need you one of them, buddy. <laughs> uh, hey, look, I spent almost two hours on that shit today looking for, uh, 
hey fat boy or you know hello fat boy or whatever if you guys don't know what we're talking about uh, I mentioned at the top there about fat asses in Georgia not being allowed to go out of the house yet everybody else can that's what we talked about on the morning show and so by the uh, body mass index chart I think it was Celine Driver who uh, I mean look at him just look at him Lardas, Lardas. <laughs> One more time. Look at him real close. Take, look. Would Would you just look at him? Look at him. Would, would you just look at him? Blowing out your ass. Not to mention the fact that he's a handsome guy. According to the chart, not the Butch Jones chart. Everybody knows about the Butch Jones chart. This one's worse than the Butch Jones chart. According to that chart, that guy that you just saw is considered a fat ass in Georgia. What's the world come to? Sorry about that, Celine. I, you know, I would say that I, it really pained me to make those. And the Florida State reference there at the end... Um, and the beautiful Celine Vols car. Those are pretty cars, seriously. The Celines, they are beautiful cars. I probably looked at a thousand of them today. Um, you, sir, are not a fat ass. You might be cuckoo. Thank you. Is it syrup maker or is it syrup maker? But thank you, syrup maker. We're just going to call it it's just a syrup maker. Thank you for the super chat, sir. Syrup maker never comments. He's a quiet, gentle type of super chatter. But thank you very much, sir. I appreciate that. I do, and I do. And Harrison Triplett, top five basketball players of all times. One, Jordan. Two, the King, King James. Three, ooh, Magic above Kareem? We may have us a conversation here, Mr. Triplett. You're entitled to your opinion, no doubt about it. But Kareem would probably be on some people's number one all-time list, maybe. And, of course, Bird. A top five, man, that's, that's hard in basketball. It's hard in a lot of sports. Um, turn that down there. I hope I'm not. Am I too loud or uh, not loud enough? Or sound awful loud tonight for some reason. Nothing like a loud fat ass on a Friday night. But thank you for the super chat, Harrison Triplett. Good sir. Let's 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 peruse over this top five of his. Jordan, no arguments here. Everything Jordan did on the basketball court was amazing. It was innovative. A lot of the shit he did was the first time we'd ever saw it. A lot of the stuff he did on the basketball court we have not seen since and never will see again. He was just that good. Haven't seen anybody with that tongue swag yet, have you? I haven't. His tongue swag alone didn't have shit to do with how great he was, but it sure did look funky, didn't it? LeBron, I mean, what are you going to say about LeBron? He can do it all. Uh, magic. Now that's an interesting one. I don't know how many people would put Magic on their on their top five. Are you a Lakers fan, Harrison? Forgive me for not knowing. I am. We need Mad Dog. Well, he's not a Mad Dog's not a Lakers fan. Hell, he knows everything about sports. I like his opinion on that. What 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 say you guys? Should Magic be in the top five of the basketball top ten? That is the question right now. Big Magic fan. Uh, him coming out like he did with the whole HIV thing was, to me, it, it cemented his legacy um, just because of the importance of someone of his magnitude coming out and telling the world 
before the world found out otherwise that uh, he had HIV. Nowadays, you come out and you tell the world you got HIV. I'm not going to say it's no big deal. Obviously, it's a big deal, but it's not like it was back then. Uh, almost like uh, gay athletes. Back then, if a guy came out and said he was gay, a gay athlete, holy hell, good God Almighty, too. Nowadays, it's, it's no big deal to people. I mean, to some people, it's a big deal. But anyway, thank you, uh, Celine Driver, for your kindness and generosity tonight with a super chat and not getting mad about your, uh, about your, uh, You are a gentleman and a scholar, and congratulations to your daughters. Above anything that I'm congratulating you for and thanking you for, uh, congrats on your daughters with her, uh, I think you said she got a bachelor's degree. I still don't know why they don't call it a bachelorette's degree for women, but hey, I'm a retard. I don't know. Seriously, though, congratulations uh, to your daughters. And tell them the toothless hillbilly up in Tennessee said so. Or else. Let me read the super chat. Melissa May, thanks, I'm handsome. Thinks I'm handsome. Lies. That's all that matters. The Mustang was gator orange, not ball. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. But thank you for my present, scratching my... Uh, uh, scratching my dad burn head. How about that? Melissa May... We're going to have to have a talk, young lady. We can do that later. Man, what what Crimson Brave get timed out for this time? I'm over here speeching. Y'all are timing my, my boy out. Oh, look at, look at Wilkie becoming a Heisman Trophy candidate. That deserves something big. Now, if you don't, if you're not aware of what a Heisman co shit, I can't talk. If you're not aware of what the Heisman Trophy candidate feature is uh, here on BBD TV, it is the most expensive membership you can purchase. You can go to the little join button down there. Damn. Y'all gonna break me now. Syrup Maker joining the Heisman Trophy candidate. Club. Take that, Slita. With your little kindergarten. I have to thank Slita too. He's part of he's part of the crew. Uh, thank you guys for real. I've been, you know, normally most what people do is they get their perks and everything um, all laid out for you before they put this thing up. I'm a little different. I'm a different kind of dude. I decided that we're going to figure out together what the perks are. And I've got an idea. We, you know, we could do the free t-shirt thing. Um, who the hell wants a free t-shirt, though? Um, so, you guys email me at bvdincorporated at yahoo.com. Yes, some people still use Yahoo Mail, Lou. Shut your pie hole, Mr. Almost at 30,000 subscribers. I was subscribing when you were still shitting green in your diaper, boy. Yeah, but then I started shitting turds and everybody passed me. Uh, I don't even know what that's in response to because I forgot what I said just a few seconds ago. But if it's in reference to me being awesome and great, um, you're probably right, Lou. You're probably right. But seriously, though, thank you, Sir Maker and Wilkie. Over here, he's Wilkie. Over on Lou's channel, he's Waikiki. Um, that's too much like Ki Ki Ki, come here. Ki Ki Ki, can't handle that. So we'll call you Wilkie over here, since that's the way it's really pronounced. What's up, LSU Scooter? Another long-time BVD TV viewer. 
but seriously, I've got I've got uh, I've got something in mind for you guys uh, that I, honestly I really didn't think anybody would join at that level. Um, really, just threw that out there, you know, just to see what would happen. But of course, you two guys, as awesome as you are, uh, had to make me look like a fool inside my own head. Not hard to do. I can't believe Lou don't like my green screen efforts. That hurts, man. I mean, look at this. Who else would think of cutting a green, cutting a hole in the damn green screen and wearing it like a, what do they call these things? A, 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 a poncho or a lefty or something. But again, BBD Incorporated, the word spelled out, at Yahoo. Dot com. And I'll get you something nice. No, and Lefty. BW, and Lefty. BW, apparently not a country music fan. Poncho and Lefty is like, might be in your top five country songs all time. There you go. Top, uh, see, I look, look. I got notes. I don't always come into this shit unprepared. Melissa May, you want to go fight top five nut huggers? We can do that. I don't care. I ain't scared. F top five nut hugger. <laughs> I think we'll avoid that one tonight, Melissa. Uh, so I haven't seen but one person, and that was Ballard, do a top five anything. I was going to do open mic night. I mentioned that at the top two top of the top also of the of the stream tonight thought about that earlier and by open mic night I was thinking uh, just like at open mic night at any of these little these little clubs that you go to in the bigger cities or, or at least places bigger than this turd hole uh, where you can go up to the step up to the stage and do your thing it's open mic night most people on open mic nights sing some people get up there and read poetry uh, beyond that I don't know what the hell they do but should we do an open mic night like that here is there anybody in here that be, would, would be willing to embarrass themselves and hop up on here and sing sing for your supper DVD TV poetry slam Bama Marine would sing wouldn't you Bama Marine loves the camera. He, he loves to get on camera and let somebody, let people see those smoldering eyes. That'd be a good country song, wouldn't it? Smoldering eyes. Top five modern muscle cars. Muscle cars, Dodge Demon, Hellcat, Red Eye, GT500, GT350, Standard. Now, now, I'm guessing those are all Mustangs. Celine. Where the hell's the Pinto in that list? You know, the Pinto was around, well, maybe not before the Mustang. But, um. What's up, NASCAR Ball? Number one fan of Picked Off over on Volunteer Roadshow. We gotta change that. Um, speaking of Picked Off, every Sunday night right here on BBD TV, um, I'm not a car guy, Celine. Don't make me do it. Don't make me do it. Blow it out your ass. That's what that one's for. Comments like that, mister, will get you a blow it out your ass. Mr. Car Guy. What was I talking about? Sunday. Damn it. See, look. Now, I'm going to let that are you thick slide. I'm not a car guy. Now, I can tell you the difference between a Mustang and a Sally. Or a, or a Pinto and a Dodge. Or buffering and not buffering. Got it. It's got to be OBS. What 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 NBP say? What NBP say? 
Okay. I'll give you that one. I, I give you that one, Celine. That was a derp moment. I need a... Now I'm going to have to make a... Uh, a stinger for me saying something retarded because that usually happens. Uh, how about this? Baby needs shoes. My wife needs clothes. And you need some tea. That fair enough, Celine? That fair enough? Is that fair? Is that a fair enough shot at myself? It clearly, clearly says at the top of your damn list, dodge. So yeah, man, what's up with this buffering shit? Yeah, Marine, we we know what buffering is, sir. We don't need an emoji to to. To remind us. Mama Marine's like a, a second grader that just discovered crayons. God damn it, it's bad. How bad is it buffering for you guys? Uh, bad. Bad. It's buffering bad. that help? There, uh, Bama Marine, there's not a lot you can do about it. It's the OBS, and this is prime time. Gazillions of people, uh, especially all the fat asses in Georgia, are on their computer and phone tonight. So the bandwidth, damn it, the bandwidth is getting gobbled up. Can't blame that one on me or Chess Hall. Son of a bitch. Sorry about that, guys. There's not shit I can do about it. Ugh. Who is doing what in the comments? Yeah, that's... <sighs> Let me go back and read some of these comments. Sorry guys, I'm trying to go back while it's buffering and read these comments, try and get caught up. Um, now, Chess, I'm seeing a lot of comments about you coming after family. Um, 
that's not good. I did I not just talk about that at the top of the stream? I'm trying to go back to the beginning of this shit. Well, I can only go back so far, and the last thing I see is chess. We all know that you don't get pussy. Stop lying. Uh, General, stones and glass houses do not mix, sir. That's all I'm going to say. You guys need to chill the hell out. All right, or I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to time you both out and let you think about it, because we don't need that shit in here. I just spent five minutes at the top of the stream talking about how we don't need that kind of shit on the internet okay what's up lemonade what's up lemon ballard ballard aid we get it there's people in here that aren't necessarily comfortable with each other that, that that don't like each other and that to me is ridiculous how can you not like someone well now y'all got me all fired up Chess and General, you guys are polar freaking opposites of each other. Stop it. Alright? Do me that favor. Thirty-one people, twenty-four likes. Let's fix that post haste. Look, I don't want to have to get the boss in here. Y'all won't like it if I get the boss. If the boss comes in here and starts fucking shit up, y'all are going to be sorry that you ever got the boss involved. Alright? Even Rob F., who's willing to come through the internet and kick somebody. I'm going to kick somebody's ass. Uh, you ain't kicking nobody's ass, Rob. I see an apology from Chess Hall. That, my friends, is a manly thing to do. Y'all quit timing Crimson Brave out, too, alright? In fact, how about that? I'll be the only one timing Crimson Brave out from tonight forward. Ah. Uh. Thank you, Melissa, for that. Yes, for those of you that don't feel like... If you feel like you have to donate to this channel, I certainly appreciate it. We talk about this all the time. We love you guys. And by we, I mean all the YouTubers on here that try their best to give you something worth watching. Meaning no sleep streams. Meaning some, some usable content, valuable content. If you come to one of my streams... And stay I think you're gonna find yourself laughing at some point uh, you might find yourself thinking at some point you might find yourself throwing up hell I don't know but you won't hopefully find yourself sleeping so for those of you that do donate to the viable content providers I think that's a good enough word to use probably a better one out there thank you very much you are certainly free to choose whichever option you like However, if you would like your donations to go 99% to the person you're donating to, go the extra step, the extra mile, per se, and click that link in the description that says PayPal. And uh, we'd be much obliged. Otherwise, if you just hit the damn super chat, we're fine with that too. If you don't hit neither one of them, it's all good. We love you either way. Because you're all good people. You get out of line sometimes, like tonight, we got uh, Chess and, uh, uh, who's the drunk? Now you just apologized to somebody, Chess, now you're calling somebody a drunk. Do we need to get you some Xanax, Chess? First we need to get you some clothes, like starting with a shirt. Love you, Chess, you my, you my boy, Chess. Hey, it's my stream, General. How about that? It's my channel. Don't we hear that all the time? It's my channel. 
and I was talking about it because the man said he apologizes. You could take a lesson. How you like them apples? Mr. You ain't getting no pussy chess. Get the hell out of here. None of the three of us getting any. <sighs> Who the hell is Ramit? Me no see no Ramit. Well, General, that's okay. You're you're allowed to. Oh, there's Ramit. Ramit in your asshole. Nice. 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 Go boy, it gets going in here sometimes, don't it? We got some names up in this bitch. We got some. We don't have. We don't have the the dirty diaper gang type trolls or whatever in here, but we got some. We got some people in here with some names, and uh, what we don't have. Ain't got one there. It didn't work, did it? Uh, that one didn't work either. What the hell's going on with these things? How is it at? How about this one? None of the son of a bitches are working. Huh. I'm not seeing any of the stangers working. Get rid of a bunch of them. I will find you. That's never and I will. Good. Fuck you! Bear with me here, fellas and fillies. Doing a little clicking. Doing a little Baby removing. Baby needs shoes. Son of a bitch. Black need clothes. And you need some teeth. <clears throat> Romeo, Romeo, where for out there, Romeo? Where's this guy too? Fuck you! 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 If you weren't here at the beginning, the show did not start off like this. We ain't got no fucking microphone. Katusa, it's all jacked up tonight. It's all jacked up tonight, Katusa. It's buffering, it's lagging, it's pixelating. There's probably 85 bazillion people on the internet right now watching porn. Uh, yeah. We can do without that. Yeah, go ahead and uh, go ahead and sign your other uh, troll channel in there, or Mr. Ramit, and come back and see us when you got your other one fired up. Like I said earlier, I'm gonna whip somebody's ass. We're almost an hour into this damn stream tonight, and all we've had is a couple of couple of kids arguing, one fat ass rambling, uh, and no production whatsoever here. No production value, save for uh, Wilkie and uh, and Serp and uh, you know all the great people who have decided to break a little chip off of their old block. General, sir, you are a kid. Uh, no, you're not a baby goat. Okay, I'll give you that. In, if, in fact, if you were any animal, it would be a baby jackass. Uh, but I didn't go there.
Well, you can't tonight, Chess. Um, uh, oh, oh, Ramit won't be uh, retracting anything tonight, Lemonade. Yeah. Actually, uh, Chess General is probably one of the brightest young minds in here. I said young minds. No one will ever accuse the general of being slow. Unless it's a race to score with the hot girl. Then he might be in trouble. Well, I mean, let's face it, Rob. Hell, most of the people in here are kids to me. I mean, I know I don't look 53. I, I know I don't look a day over 51. But, you know, you know where I'm. You know what I'm saying. Crimson Brave. Is that what I, I, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that there that he's not. What's up, social social security? I like how everybody says his name. Social security is actually social security. It's one word. Ain't that right? Social security. Social security is a new guy to. Uh, to the YouTube trash talking world, trying to make a name for himself. Uh, so a 49ers fan. Go over there and hit him up with a sub. If you don't like him, you can always tell him. If you like him, you can tell him. That's what this thing's all about, right? Uh, so go over there and hit Social Security. Up. Oh boy, Clown Police. Yeah, I think I know who Clown Police is. But that's, oh, here we go with the buffer in again. Ah, damn it. 8.54. Oh, okay, so Crimson Brave and Bama Marine live 10 minutes away, huh? I don't know if you guys are one and the same or not. Don't know, you know. That statement is allowed, Ballard. Is uh, the clown police part of the insane clown posse? Can anybody confirm or deny that one? So anyway, getting back to something we rarely talk about here anymore, uh, college football. Um, Thoughts, opinions, facts, uh, myths, rumors. Anybody got any? You know, I'm, I'm way late to the party here. But uh, our boy, the commish, He says the damn SEC is playing football whether the rest of you bitches do or not. That's what he really, uh, you know, uh, that's what he's really saying, I believe. Uh, now, I haven't read the article or, or articles. I'm just going by what uh, someone else said, and I'm looking at it right now. Uh, that's the wrong article. That's what I get for clicking on something from me. My bad. Where'd it go? Well, anyway. Oh, I like that. Hope is not a plan. But the... Uh, hope is not a plan, but he's moving the SEC towards playing football this fall. When was this published? Today. Interesting. Aiming for an on-time start to the college. Let me just read part of it. Southeastern Conference Commissioner Greg Sankey says the league is aiming for an on-time start to the college football season in September. If there isn't a season, Sankey figures we'll, we've all got bigger problems than missing football. That's a fact. That, that is a fact. Good, good point, Mr. Sankey. Um, 
If we're not playing football in the fall, Sankey said Thursday on WJXL FM in Jacksonville, Florida, I'd leave the football field and be thinking about what's happening around us. If football is not an active part of our life in the fall, what's happening around us becomes a real big question societally, economically, and culturally. Speaking on the sports radio talk show in Jacksonville as well as the SEC Network's Paul, Pine Paul Feinbaum show on Wednesday, Sankey made clear the point of how imperative it is for college athletics to return with the 2020-21 academic year after spring sports were canceled in March by the coronavirus pandemic. The reach, the reaction to the virus worldwide grip led to the unprecedented cancellation of the NCAA basketball tournaments and the College World Series. There's some news, right? But now the urge to get college sports back online is growing. Sankey said he spent two days earlier this week in video conferences with 96 SEC student athletes whose perspective, he said, was to get back at it. If there's a SEC, uh, this is me talking, if there's an SEC student athlete whose perspective is not to get back at it, how the hell did they end up a student athlete in the SEC to begin with? My focus is on football as scheduled, the man said. The week before that, volleyball, wait a minute, the week before volleyball and the week before that soccer starting. The circumstances will guide the decision making. We want to be prepared. Unlike the major unlike the major professional sports league, comprised each of 30 to 32 teams, college athletics is a much more unwieldy enterprise with hundreds of schools playing all across the country. Well, duh, no shit. To that end, Sankey said it would be good, but not imperative, to have all of the 10 major football playing conferences on the same page. One would think so, wouldn't one? The hope is we all move along together. Can't we just all get along? Sankey said. To date, that's been the conversation and collective thinking about how we may have to just adjust. Yeah. But, the, but it's a very difficult situation from a pro league. There is room for different conferences to make different decisions, but we're all interconnected. When we're playing basketball tournaments, there is no connection. We're all in our arenas playing each other. Still, said Sankey, do a couple of programs deciding they are unable to resume football stop everyone? I'm not sure it does, he said. But the liability for us to stay connected will remain important, and I am not reading any more than that. That pretty much sums it up. In a word, kiss my ass, everybody else. We're playing ball this fall. That's what he's trying to say. Um, be great, wouldn't it? Look at that. I run a bunch of people off of reading. Some bitches didn't think I could read, did you? Well, how many of us feel better after hearing that about college football? Yay or nay? Does that make you any more or less confident that we will have college football this fall? I'm still sticking to my guns, being optimistic, probably overly optimistic, but I'm saying we're having football this fall, even though deep down insider, deep down inside, my common sense tells me we may not, um, but we'll see. Well, VW, that's a good point. Um, but so is a sword. Swords have good points, too. Looking back here to see if I missed anything. Slim Mosley, you and I still need to talk, sir. Uh, that's rough, B.W., some teams playing and some teams won't. Now, you might be right in the sense of the teams that are playing will be the big boys, and perhaps some of the small fish may not. Um, we'll see. Nah, nah, Chess Hall, even if we don't play football this year, recent history tells you 
will still find a way to blow a game. And it'd probably be the Florida game. Oh, I hear you, Snake. It's been a long time since we've had a good blizzard around here. How long has it been? How long has it been one since you've had one up there in Franklin County? Let me let me give you guys an analogy here. And my my female friend Heather, out in uh, Winters, California, who is a microbiologist has a brain cell or two. Now, I think she got this from something somewhere online, but it's still a great analogy for those that don't believe in wearing masks out in public. Imagine yourself in public, standing next to someone. Neither one of you are wearing pants nor underwear. The person next to you decides to take a piss, and they aim their little pecker right at you. What's going to happen? Piss is going to get all over you, right? Yeah. Imagine you having a pair of pants on. Some of the piss is going to get on you. It's going to soak through the jeans or whatever, but not nearly as much. Now imagine if the pisser has on britches. Are you with me here, folks? If the pisser and the pissy both have on their pants, there's a good chance that the pissy ain't getting pissed on. Alright? So I thought that was a pretty cool analogy about masks. So when we went out tonight to Walmart, I actually wore my mask. I hate them. They're uncomfortable. They fog my glasses up. But I would say 90% of the people in that Walmart today, and I'm not talking about the 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 employees, 100% of the employees had masks on. It's now Walmart law. But about 90% of the people walking around had on masks. Maybe, maybe 80%, um, but most of them did. Awesome. By the way, happy birthday to Batman today. Happy birthday to Batman. My brother Todd turns 58 today. And the girl that I was just talking about, Heather, turns 51 tomorrow. So the 1st of May, always an important time for me with my brother and a good friend of mine who have birthdays today. Hard to believe my brother is 58 freaking years old. Good God. If you're watching, Todd, I love you. Even while my phone's falling. I love you, brother. Uh, always been a great big brother. Always will be a great big brother. Uh, going through some health issues, too. Uh, getting old. But my brother Todd, he's been one of them dudes that from day one worked his ass off. Uh, probably still has the first dollar he ever earned somewhere. Um, and has just carved out a great life, and he's got the most awesome kids. I've got the three most awesome nephews in the world. Uh, one of them is a county deputy somewhere. Uh, one of them is out in L.A. right now. Uh, kind of looks like, kind of built like Bad Dog, except with legs. Um, I, ain't, I ain't ashamed to say it. Dude's a freaking... The dude's a stud. Just gorgeous. He's just a gorgeous human. He's out there in L.A. right now doing some acting, trying to trying to trying to trying to carve out a career in acting, but in the meantime, uh, doing personal fitness for people. I have no idea. Chess. They probably don't have a set of calipers big enough to measure yours or my body mass index. You interrupted me talking about my family. Damn it. Simmer down there, Slim. And then, of course, my youngest nephew, Sean, who I do believe is still in college. And shortly will be another well-rounded, fine young man off into society doing great things. So shout out to Brandon, Devin, and Sean, my three awesome nephews. 
and your parents, Robin and Todd, my awesome brother and sister-in-law. Love you guys. Damn it, I love you guys. Don't get to see you enough. Uh, where was I at before I read my brother's text? Um, shit. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Just now seeing your text, I'll call you after my live stream. Please pardon me for the uh, delay. The Cali connection. Be nice. We'll have the NFL connection in about four years. When my boy Will gets drafted in the 2024 NFL draft. In the 2024 NFL draft, round one, pick number one from the University of Tennessee, long snapper Will Albright. Be the first long snapper in the history of the NFL to get picked number one. You are barely healthy, General. You're skinny. When you turn sideways, you disappear. You'd be 24 in June, huh? Keep on mouthing off to General like that, and you might not make it to June 4th. He might come up there and whoop your, or go down there and whoop your ass. How big a boy are you, Chess? I'm gonna come down there, and I'm gonna whoop your ass. Scout out, scout out, shout out to Scott Zilla. Another YouTuber who got dentures today. Looks damn good in them, too. Yeah, well, I mean, that's a good question, Crimson Brave. Uh, makes eating very difficult, doesn't it? That's a, a Roy Damn Mercer, Rob F. Job that damn corn dog stick in his throat, and I'm going to get some relief. Now, you don't eat through a mask very well. You don't smoke through one very well either. There was only one Roy damn Mercer. What was his wife's name? Sharon Jean. My wife, Sharon Jean. I'm going to remember these 5 4 remarks, General. And the next time I see you, I'm going to kick you right in your ankle. Yep, shout out to Roy, by God, by damn Mercer. Wouldn't you love to hear a conversation between Roy Mercer and Carl Childers? I need to, maybe I need to do that in a video. Carl Childers, how big a damn boy are you? Yeah. That's not true, General. There are some midgets. Excuse me, little people. Yeah, there's some little people on YouTube. I know it. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen the damn video of I forget what year it is, but there was a little Florida little guy, a little person, a little a little person man, running around in a fucking diaper, talking shit. <laughs> you gotta see this video. He's talking shit to a crowd of Tennessee students after a game, before a game, I don't know, probably after. And this little midget comes running over there like he's going to do something. And the, one of the dudes just kind of sticks his foot out. It was an attempt at a kick, but he knocked the poor little feller backwards. I got I got to play this. I got to find this video for you guys. If you haven't seen this shit. It's funny, but it's not funny. Because little people have feelings too. And I'm sure his feelings got hurt that night.
it may even be taken off of the damn internet by now. Nope, there it is. There it is. Hang on. Just, just hang on. You'll thank me for this later, maybe. Or you might hate me for it. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. We got to add that and that. Get rid of that. Add this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Roy Down Mercer. Uh, without further ado, uh, let me introduce the little Florida little man taking on the Tennessee students. And you gotta hear it from the beginning to hear this hick ass girl. comes Thorink. yeah so uh, what did you think about that <laughs> that was terrible wasn't it I guess nobody found that to be funny like I did. Poor little feller. Five foot is perfect, huh? What's up, Blake? How you doing? I bet Blake West, Blake, Blake West would participate on open mic night if I had one, wouldn't you, Blake? Lou wants you to write the morning show a song, Blake. We need something to replace. Good morning. Good morning. That, so that song will never be replaced. Good morning. Good morning. Megan in the house? What's up, Megan? <laughs> You're a little late to the party tonight. You didn't have the privilege of seeing this. <laughs> and of course, you probably won't understand why, but you didn't see this either. Lardas! Lardas! <laughs> Blowing out your ass. Lardas, Lardas. <laughs> Blowing out your ass. <laughs> Monster Ball, that is Celine Driver. Do you know who Celine Driver is? Uh, where did you send it, Jeff? You might need to get your hearing aid fixed, Crimson Brave. Is that better, Crimson Brave? Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? One testing. One, two, three. Three, two, one, one, two, three, eight, seven, six, five, three, oh, nine. Crimson Brave, can you hear me?
That's not altogether true, General. You will talk about what I will allow you to talk about here, little man. Don't make me punt you, Corporal Luke. Maybe my game's not up. Is that better? Is that better, uh, Mr. MVPs? Well, there's something, there's something wrong with you. Maybe I could up this a little bit. May it could be you guys. Now, are we better? There's one more thing I could do, I think. No. The microphone is drain is aimed right at my face. It's about as good as it's gonna get, boys and girls. Unless I, you know, do like I just did. So it's fine now. It's fine now, so you wouldn't want me to go Hey Or anything like that, would you? How many people are wearing earbuds? Raise your hand. If you're raising, if you're wearing earbuds, I apologize. Not really, but. Is that what you want? Let me see if these other ones are working. Bear with me here for a second. Um, haven't seen Glitter Gator in here in a while. Um, not not sure about that. It's been a few days, actually. How about this? Oh, bitch. These nuts. Ha! <laughs> Got him. <laughs> That came through, didn't it? That one come through okay? Got him! Um, what the hell is this one? Fade to black. Oh, never mind. Uh, let's see. Get the F out. No microphone. Uh, that's a long one. This is Carter, I think. I will find you. That's me. And I will- FUCK YOU! Uh, this is a good one. I think this outfit says, I think this fashion statement says, I'm having a GOOD FUCKING TIME! I got some work to do in the stinger department, don't I? Chess needs one. Um, Jeff, I could probably make one for you. Mr. Bossy. Mr. Bossy in the comments. Uh, that one's entirely too long. Damn it. How many people know my boy Tom Jasper Jr.? Handsome feller. Got an inchworm, got a couple of inchworms crawling across his forehead for eyebrows. Here's one for him, and he's a good sport. You're one ugly motherfucker. Let me, uh, volume is a little bit down, isn't it? Is a little down tonight, the volume is, I just noticed. But haven't had anyone complaining too terribly much about it, so I guess we're okie dokie. Talking about um Oh yes, Jeff. Oh yes. Yeah, Tom, that one. What's up, Scott? If you weren't if you just got here, I was just complimenting your dentures a few minutes earlier. Uh sub my boy Scottzilla up, if you would putting out some uh, content. He was there that night uh, that I lost my shit. I was apologizing for that earlier too, Scott. 
if you weren't here, saying that I think Camel Toes and uh, A-Bomb both need to chill and uh, stop it, but they're not going to listen to us, are they? Damn, that's some good tea. Speaking of top fives, I'll just steal from Pete, from Pigskin Pete, who may or may not be watching. What are your top five fast food restaurants? And Ballard, I don't need your input at all on this because I heard your top five and you lost me at hello with McDonald's at number one. Anybody that puts McDonald's at number one of their fa favorite fast food restaurants clearly has mental issues or their palate is broken. So give me, uh, thanks to Pete, give me your top five fast food restaurants and I'll give you mine in no particular order. We never did finish our top five everythings, but you can do that. Damn, that's a good one, General. Let's see. I don't know how many people are going to agree with us on that one, uh, General, but I'm, I'm with you on that one. Okay. That's a good one, too. Man, damn, there's a lot of good ones. Uh, Chick-fil-A, they would be in my top five most overrated fast food places. But I know a lot of you guys, and, and Cookout, too, that place is ass. They used to be really good when they came here, but they're terrible now. DQ, that's a decent one. Best peanut butter shakes on the planet. Uh, my top five, in no particular order, five guys, great burgers, uh, fries are great, just great. Uh, can't read my own writing. What the fuck is that? Oh, Whataburger. I've only had a Whataburger once in my life, and that was when I was on the truck with Catfish. Had it in Dallas, Texas. Good God, that was a good burger. And they're orange and white. I mean, the place is orange and white. You can't go wrong with orange and white, right? Uh... And I have not heard this one on anybody's list, and this amazes me. Steak and Shake. Do you guys just not have... Do you just not have... Melissa, I don't consider Longhorn Steakhouse a, a fast food place, but, you know, if it's a favorite restaurant of yours, that's all that matters. Sonic sucks. At least the one does here, Slim. I mean, the one we got is terrible. As bleh. Steak and Shake is awesome. And see, Rob Dog thinks it's awful. That's the beauty of this thing. Uh, and my last two, Crystals or White Castle, either one. They're both about the same, even though White Castle is the original. And my last one, Pals. How many of you guys have a Pals where you live? P-A-L-S. Pals. Pals. Pow. Rock 103. Pow. Rock 103. Never had Culver's. I've heard a lot of people talk about it, Mr. MVP, so. Their milkshakes are okay. Uh, the best milkshakes are in a little shithole here in Greenville. Um, little Top. Who can kiss my ass, by the way. Used to be one of my favorite places to go here in town, but now they can pretty much blow me. Uh, but they still have great milkshakes and great tea. Food sucks at that place, as does the manager or the owner. Biatch. I can say that because it's my channel. And she can't tell me I can't say it. Yeah, not a lot of people putting Taco Bell. Man, now back in the 80s, Taco Bell would have been my numero uno. When I had my good, beautiful, straight, perfect teeth, we, we just called it Cho's. We didn't even call it Taco Bell. We called Taco Bell Cho's. Because we would go to Taco Bell and get a Nachos Bell Grande. That was our thing, man, in the 80s. Paperboy. That might be on my top five everything list. Paperboy and Cho's from 7-Eleven in North Raleigh, North Carolina. 
Good God Almighty. We'd get stoned, go over there late at night. I can still I can still see that ugly ass woman behind the register. She had hair down to about here, big fat thick glasses, and God bless her, love her little heart, she was ugly as sin. But she was so nice and she made the best chos, nachos. And we'd all get a nacho and go over there and play Paperboy till she'd run us off. That's great. Great time. Good times. Okay, Captain D's. That's a good one. They are definitely the better of the two fish places. And back in the day, um, I would give that nod to Long John's. Paperboy, it's a, it's a arcade game pro bowler it's a, one of the old stand up with google it google it youtube google it damn that game was fun as hell you had a little bike handle and you were going through the neighborhood delivering newspapers and you had dogs chasing you and cars trying to run over you it's a great game right up there with uh, super mario kart Jack in the Box sucks, BW. And I only had them once out in California, but I was terribly disappointed. Oh, what? I can't answer that question, Mr. MVPS? I ain't good enough to answer your damn football questions? It's the damn football channel, Mr. MVPS. Don't get me pissed off, because I will go off on a song, bitch. I, I. Now, I know a little something about football. I might not know as much as General or Uncle Lou or, 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 or Jeff Webster or, or NASCAR Ball or Chess Hall or, or Melissa May or Christy or Tiger Cat or uh, Galaga or Gal God, Galaga was the shit. That was the shit. But I can answer football questions, Mr. MVPS. What was the question, by the way? Cream cheese shake? Ooh, now that, my friend, sounds delish. No, chocolate gravy, Bart. Haven't tried it yet. I, ju I just can't see. I'm going to have to try that. You know, I, I am. I'm going to have to try that because everybody says chocolate gravy is the bitch. General, you're fired. You're not even a corporal anymore. Of course, you probably wouldn't like video games anyway. What was the question again, Mr. MBPS? <laughs> I went on my little rant there and forgot what the question was. Top 14 playoff? NCAA playoffs? Ask me the question. Verbatim, like you would ask Lou or any other football genius. Perceived genius. Oh, I, Melissa, I love cheesecake. Jesus. Top five desserts. That one's right up there. Yeah, Hardy's is ass, Crimson Brave. I agree with you wholeheartedly there. Um, still waiting on that question, Mr. MVPs. I got some uh, hated things here to throw at y'all in a minute, too. See what y'all think. Hardee's used to be great, man. Back in back in the day, hell, everything was great back in the day, wouldn't it? Would you rather Tennessee beat Oklahoma and automatically be in the playoffs no matter what happens, or Tennessee beat Alabama and never... Oh, God. Mmm, that's a tough one. Damn you, Ballard. Or Tennessee beat Alabama and never make a ball game again. Hypothetically speaking, well, yeah, that's clearly hypothetical. No. No. You can keep your Oklahoma game. Because we're going to beat Alabama again, and we're going to still go to bowl games. Um, one time, Crimson Brave, and I had their uh, jalapeno poppers. Yummy. Good shit. You have any ideas? Okay. Going 
Bay. Asking if he had any playoff ideas for NCAA 14. Okay. Um, sorry, Mr. MVP. I went on a false bad rant. You were talking a damn video game, correct, sir? In that department, I defer to all those people I said not to defer to. So my apologies, sir. Uh, I have no answer for you when it comes to NCAA 14. Other than to say whoever's in the playoff, if Tennessee's in it, you're done for. I have not, Corey. That, that, that's, a, that's a legit question. I don't know that I've ever even seen one. And by the way, they're little people. have been to the varsity in Atlanta, Rob. It was great. That'll work, Chess. I'll get you a burger. We got a couple of good burger joints here. Oh. How about some sayings or words that you guys hate? This was, a, this was the first thing I had on my list for tonight. Here are four things that I absolutely cannot stand when people say it some type of way well he was feeling some type of way the fuck does that even mean of course he was feeling some type of way I'm feeling some type of way right now I'm feeling like some type of way I don't like some type of way that's the way I'm feeling and of course the word that everyone on YouTube is using now for almost any occasion, simp. Would y'all just stop it? Somebody comes up with one good word, and next thing you know, the whole damn internet's using it. Simp. Simp. You're all a bunch of simps if you're saying the word simp. Only simp I know is in prison. That's OJ. In the fields. Oh, it got me right in the feels. Here's what my feels are. There's my feelers. And unfortunately, I can't feel anything with the damn things right now because I've lost all feeling in them. In the feels. Oh, oh. And the last one, this one goes back a long way. I ain't seen old Bob in a minute. That was popular for about a week about 10 years ago. And I even catch myself once in occasional moon saying it. So what are some things you guys hate to hear people say? I know a lot of people hate, hate to hear people say, back in the day, or back when I was your age. General, I'm not in the minority in that. If there's anybody in here that doesn't hate to see people eat with their mouth open, there's something wrong with you. To be honest, yeah, that's a good one, Corey. Here's another one um, to go along the same lines as that. I'm not gonna, not gonna lie. I didn't like it. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't like it when they ran that fucking whatever. Usually when someone says not gonna lie, when they start a sentence with not gonna lie, they might as well say what I'm about to say is a total fucking lie. Loud breathers, oh my god. Ugh. And people that do this, when they have these uh, headphones with microphones on them, when they're not talking, you can hear... just reach through the microphone and jerk the, jerk the damn little microphone out and shove it down their throat. It is. Slam, you're right. You are right. I probably have more pet peeves than anybody. One of my pet peeves is the fact that I have so many pet peeves. Are you a heavy breather? You are, Chess. I heard you the other day doing the thing. Please back away from the microphone, you loud ass. Anybody know Dashy? 
Cincinnati Bengals fan, there can be five or six people in a stream yard. All right. Everybody else will be talking normal like this. Then when Dashy speaks, yeah, my uh, Cincinnati Bengals are going to win everything. Uh, yeah, uh, take a look at all of my Bengals stuffs. Dashy in a nutshell. Good kid. Sure of it. You'd probably want him on your side in something. I don't know. Probably not a fight. Or a IQ test. But good dude. Guys that talk like girls. Yeah, I like that dude that was on, uh, well, he was on Lou's call-in show last night. If that guy hadn't seen one up close or held one in his mouth till the swelling went down, my name ain't Roy Down Mercer. I'm really not that good in person at impersonations, Blake. Really not. I can do an impersonation of Blake West. Wow, my cow, my went on. Wow, wow, now he come on down. <laughs> Love you, Blake West. Corporate jargon. Yeah, he's pretty good at the Sleeta thing. That's not an impersonation, though, Chess. I, hell, I can do that, then. Whoever said it earlier was spot on. Everything gets on everybody's nerves at some point. Let me see. Hang on there. I'm going to have to mute you for just a second. Okay, we back. I look up to the sky and wonder why. Lasso forgot the words for you and I. Was that close, Blake? Did I get close on that one? I didn't know the words, so I had to just kind of make them up. What's up, 16? There's a lot of people don't like that, uh, Chess, when people... T I'm, I'm bad for even texting back K.
I think if I knew the words, I could do a pretty good Blake West impersonation, singing wise. I can't, I can't impersonate that Alabama accent though, or I guess Mississippi, since you're from Mississippi. Check something here, boys and girls. I'm telling you, Blake, listen to your boy, BVD. I got nothing but your best interest in mind. You've got a career in writing music and writing lyrics. I'm telling you. Let me go back and look. That's not to say that you don't in the rest of it. That's not what I'm saying, Blake. But right now, May 1st, 2020, your best chance in Nashville is writing songs. And it pays better, to be honest. Think about how many people go to Nashville to try and make it as a country singer and how many don't. Someone had a good idea for you and I, I know who it was that suggested it but I'm not going to say their name because A they're not in here not tonight or I haven't said anything and B he would probably say it to you anyway what you should do is go to Nashville and busk I know you know what busking is give busking a try and see how that works for you that is a good that's a good determiner of uh, where you're going to go in that department but you do you Blake don't let anybody including me of all friggin people persuade you one way or the other you got dreams stick to them I'm looking for your comment Crimson Brave you missed my comment. All right, I'm backing up. I'm backing that thing up. I'm backing that thing up. Okay, the next one was BBD. What gets on my nerves, women that think they can just say or do whatever the hell they want and expect to not get shit from it because they're women. Well, yeah, men do the same shit, though, dude. There, there's a lot of men out there that think they can just say and do anything, and because it's them, you know, no repercussions, no consequences and repercussions. But I get what you're saying. There are. Chess, you don't have to dream of being skinny, sir. All you got to do is get your ass up and get moving. That's what I've heard all my life. Just get moving. Well, I mean, you guys have seen the pictures when I was back in my 20s. I was, I mean, I was still overweight, but I wasn't like I am now. So you can do it. You can... You can do it, Chess, all night long. But you're going to have to put a shirt on and get up off of that whatever it is you're laying on. That's what I want to see from you, Chess. Let's see some TikTok videos of you out in the neighborhood walking around and doing that singing stuff. Or better yet, dude, if you want a career in internet fame... Do what the other big guys do. You gotta have a thick. You gotta have thick skin. Of course, you gotta be able to make fun of yourself. If you can't make fun of yourself, then you know you you shouldn't get upset when other people do. That's the way I look at it. Star Wars Day is Monday. What the hell does that mean? I ain't got no woman. But I sure can eat a bean. Here, put it in chat how to get to your videos. Uh, it's C Hall, right, Chess? Yeah, drop the link in there to your TikTok. In fact, if anybody does videos... Um, or TikToks, you're certainly welcome to... I don't care if people drop a link if we're talking about it. It's just rude for people to promote themselves 
on other people's channel unless it's okay with other people but I'm telling you guys too so there you go it's all cool I'm telling you if you got a channel tonight and you make videos bust a move drop a link and we'll hit you up Star Trek is Star Trek is for intellectual Star Trek is for hicks and hillbillies that can't read a B W. Do you see that? Uh, Do you see that uh, episode of Star Trek the other night? Oh, Captain Kirk, boy, he's at it, wasn't he? He's getting after it. In three days, Michael Palmer, you will be spot on correct, sir. I can't believe, man, Lou hurt my feelings tonight. He hurt me in the fields. In the fields, by God, that's what we used to do when I was young. Picking backer. Chopping backer. Now I'm just smoking backer. Chess is chewing backer. Peyton Manning is quarterbacker. That song was in my head all freaking day today, Chess. Thank you for that. And it's especially bad when a song gets stuck in your head and you don't know the words. So I just found myself all day today in my head going, What's up, Indy Sean 4-5? Well, hi back at you. We're still, the scales are still tipped in the wrong way on the like thing. Should at this point in the in the stream, we should never have less likes than people, unless people are less likely to like the stream than those that are to not like it. Mhm. Mm we let the machine bail the hay. There, uh, Michael. We just threw it up on the wagon. Yeah. I hear you, Monster Ball. Sean was in here uh, a week or so ago, way up in the middle of the in the middle of the night when I did one of my impromptu uh, late night streams. But you never know when those are going to happen. Getting ready to get off here in a few minutes, but in case I forget, I want to say thank you very much to Wilkie and SERP maker. My first two Heisman Trophy candidate members. Freaking awesome. Uh, I should probably look and see if any, well, I haven't seen anybody else in here tonight with green in their name. Uh, but we'll check it just in case. Where the hell is Mayor they go? Let's see. Yep. Uh, Sports Live in the ATL has been bumped to the bottom of the list. But thank you anyways, uh, Sports Live in the ATL, Slitta, for being the first contributor to the membership club. Um, Cert Maker... Uh, apparently doesn't make videos. Only got one subscriber. Uh, and Wilkie doesn't make videos, I don't think. He just makes great comments. Thanks both to you guys. Thanks to both of you guys for being the... Uh, well, quite frankly, in the world of Tennessee football, you guys are just as close to winning a Heisman Trophy as any other former Tennessee football player. So there you go. You're in great company. Uh, you're in company with Johnny Majors, Heath Shuler, Peyton Manning. Uh, who else finished runner-up for Tennessee? Somebody help me out. You Vol fans help me out here. Shuler, Manning, 
in majors. Um, finished runner-up in the Heisman Trophy ballot uh, voting. No, Todd Helton, no. Um, Todd Helton was an amazing baseball player. His football prowess was uh, journeyman at best. But, hey, he filled in when he needed to. What's your thoughts on anxiety and depression? Uh, I have both, Chess. Um, anxiety, not so much. I'm pretty well under control with that, but uh, depression's a bitch. Uh, that's a good... That's a good... A tip, atypical Gump, that's a good prediction, but I would think more and more like 2023. Yeah, or 2022. Um... That would have been a good one had Butch Jones played him, Monster Ball. And, uh, uh, but yeah, that's my thoughts. Chess, you know, General gives me shit all the time in here for losing my passion for Tennessee football, which A, is bullshit, and two, is untrue. Uh, perception is a guess, I guess case. Not perception, but the other word. There was a period of about two or three or four years on here where my video making was greatly lagging and there were two contributing factors to that. One was the fact that Tennessee sucks or sucked and it gets old getting beat down every week by making crow videos. The other depression. Um that's right, Sean. In fact, anger towards your team most of the time means great passion, if you will. But my problem was depression and, you know, dealing with the shit that was going on in my life, and I just let it bring me down. And a couple of people, there's a handful of people that are responsible for my uh, resurgence what would you say uh, return whatever you want to call this live streaming shit that I've been doing now since the first of the year four days a week in the evenings sometimes randomly most of the Tennessee basketball games and three or four days a week on the morning show with Lou and myself and, uh, and Sean I know you're not a fan of Uncle Lou I get it he's not your cup of tea but being on that morning show has been one of the better decisions I've made uh, in a while. It's helped. It's helped up there, and it's inspired me to, you know, to keep doing this and not give up and not quit. So, anyway, the videos will be coming back soon too. Uh, I got some ideas. I've had some ideas for a long time. I've just got to get to them and get to putting them on video. That's the hard part. Uh, I don't ever want to look at this as a job. Because if I start looking at this as a job, then it's really going to start sucking. I mean, it, it kind of is. It, it is my... Uh, well, I mean, it's how I supplement my income. Just be honest about it. Without doing this, you know, life, life be a struggle, man. I mean, struggle paying my bills and shit. But I don't ever want to hate doing this again because I was hating doing it. Even my Greenville videos, man, which I had passion for, General, uh, got kind of rough there for a while. Just didn't want to do them. Didn't want to edit no more. Didn't want to take the camera out. Didn't want to film. Didn't want to didn't want to get man there was a period where I would get on YouTube maybe two three times a week and look at a video I was just over it um, you know Katusa Lou is doing right now what myself and a lot of other people did ten years ago um, he's doing it differently and he's doing it you know because of the live streams and the shows and all that shit he's doing it differently 
but he will tell I mean he's he has told you he, he'll tell people all the time there were people before him you know that were doing this and uh, for whatever reason I die well I just got through telling you one of the reasons why I stopped doing it for a while and I wish I hadn't you know I wish I'd have been right there doing my thing along with everybody else but I'm behind now and all I can do is get on here and do these streams and try and have fun for a couple hours four nights a week and let me tell you it's hard not physically hard of course but it's hard to get on here four nights a week like I do anyway without notes uh, most of the time and get on here and talk to you guys for two hours and come up with shit to do it's it gets rough now if we had sports going on it'd be totally different you know But we'll be back. Sports will be back. We'll be back in the pocket here whenever. I don't think we're ever going to return to life the way we knew it three months ago. I, I really don't. I mean, I was talking to my roommate about that on the way back home today. I think you're going to see this. Uh, well, Augator was saying this last week. The All the plastic barriers you're seeing at grocery stores and all the stores, I think those will stay up when this is all over. Maybe not all of them, but most of them are going to stay up. I think you're going to see people continuing to wear masks. Hopefully, people are going to start to be a hell of a lot. They're, they're going to be more sanitary than they have been. You know? So there you go. Pigskin Pete's awesome, NASCAR ball. I agree. He's he's a relative newcomer to the game too, and he. I mean, he. I've been saying it for a couple of years now, at least. You know, that he's good. Everybody, a lot of us may appear to be the same in the sense that a lot of us kind of tend to do things in a similar fashion, but we're all different. We all have our own thing that we're good at or different at you know and at the same time you're always going to see people doing some of the same shit you see at other places you know you see it on TV people use other people's shit you know pissed off balls fans got um, he's pissed off balls fan is exactly what he is pissed off balls fan um, he's just a true Tennessee fan um, who tells you exactly how the hell he feels I'm looking for it I'm looking where the hell is it oh I have severe anxiety and depression. I take clonopin for it melts me out, I believe. In you, bud. Glad to call you family. Love you. Keep doing you, buddy. Good night. Thank you, Chess. Appreciate that, buddy. Means a lot. And uh, you keep doing you, too. Don't let anybody get you down. And if they do get you down, roll over on them. By God, that's what I say. I don't watch Mr. Duga much, Crimson Brave, uh, for whatever reason. Um, it's n nothing against him. He's good. Probably should start watching him a lot more than some of the people that I do watch. Well, that's something to be proud of, Aaron. But anyway, fellers and fillies, it is two hours before midnight. Uh, in most places, they call that 10 o'clock. So, I think tonight I will call it quits. Thank you again to Wilkie and Sir maker 
the first two Heisman Trophy candidate to join the old club. You guys are certainly welcome if you so desire to go down there and click that join button. By no means obligated. Thanks you guys for all you do. We're kind of we're not obligated, but as YouTubers, you know, it's kind of, you know, kind of part of the deal where we have to get on here and what they call beg. Uh, it's the way some people look at it. Some people say that YouTubers who make money on YouTube are lazy asses and then come back around a couple of weeks later and get on YouTube and beg for money themselves. I'm not mentioning no names. <coughs> uh, but you know, you know what's all good and what's not all good. Uh, thank you to Harrison Triplett, Celine Driver, Surf Maker, Harrison Triplett again, Jesse Sullivan, Wilkie, uh, you guys are all stellar individuals with uh, uh, big hearts and full minds and closed eyes or something like that from that movie. I know you're good people though. Thank you. I'm going to call it a night. Uh, I'm going to call it a stream. And uh, if I had a girlfriend, I'd call that too, but I don't, so... I guess I'll just go over here and sit on the couch and watch that fat bitch, Mama June. She went from hot to not, to back to hot, to back to not, to now she's just down meth head. Oh boy. Hey, you guys have a great night, seriously, I mean it. Um, you hear it all the time on here, love you, couldn't do it without you, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. It's all true or we wouldn't all be saying it. I'll see you guys Sunday night where my boy my son, my offspring, my little buddy, kill your little buddy, uh, will be here with me. That'd be Achpa Carter, ACP Carter, uh, in India. His name is Achpa Kha. Uh, but thanks, guys. We'll see you then. Have a good one. Mean it. Go Vols. Screw y'alls. And screw that redneck driving past my damn house with a muffler missing on his car. Some bitch.